Welcome back to the woods. We bought an abandoned cabin and it's finally time to share it with all of you. That's inside our cabin. Ready? No. The roof is leaking. Not a good look, Dave. I'm both excited and nervous and it needs a lot of work. You may recognize this trail and that's because you've all been here before. Ready girls? Hey. A huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. For those of you who are new here, we are in the interior of Nova Scotia, Canada, in the middle of nowhere. We're currently walking down the trail on the property and this entire area is so much more wet. There is so much water. There are streams and rivers flowing all throughout it. Some that we've never even seen before and that just appear out of nowhere like this one. It is so beautiful and lush. It's a gorgeous day here too. I don't know how we're getting so lucky in November with 22 degree weather. Every time we walk down here, permanent smiles on our faces. I'm and even more now that we get to share it with all of you. Yeah, I'm so excited for this huge reveal to show you every detail about this property, how we got it, where we're going with it. You're gonna love it. It truly is an amazing property that just, you can't beat it. It's truly a dream. 10 acres in the middle of nowhere. Wow. There's a lot to discover here, folks. All right, everyone. The grand reveal. Dave's room. Who's Dave? Who's Dave? <laughs> I have no idea who Dave is. Not the previous owner who wants to see inside Dave's room. Nice steps. I'm nervous. <laughs> I swear to God, I just heard something in there and Leslie leaf just fell behind it. <laughs> it is caving in, so there's holes in it too. I mean, this is an animal's dream, isn't it? Oh, damn, there's been some mice in there. Oh my God, that's wretched. Oh my God. Not a good look, Dave. Is that you, Dave? Oh. Dave is definitely a spider, Crystal. Yo, who is in here last? Honestly. Nice newspaper clipping if you want to read the newspaper. Find treasures in your neighborhood trash bin. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Nova Scotian. That's what we do around here. I think this was supposed to keep things away. I don't think it's done a good job. Okay, looks like we got some. As if you're touching that, what are you doing? I just want to see the roof. Yeah. Oh, Look at that, everyone. That's going to collapse on me. I mean, they left us wet wipes. Ready? Well, you can see the outside in this hole. What do you mean? The hole is outside. And they did build it pretty damn good to be still standing. Yeah, I mean, I'd use it. I'm probably gonna have to use it, to be honest, so. Oh, it's a big hole. It's a big hole that goes out to the world. <laughs> There's so many spiders. <laughs> I'm not scared of spiders, but when you're in a box with a lot of them, it's not that fun. Real toilet seat, antibacterial stuff right here. Yeah. A nice squatty potty. There'll be no toilet texting in this outhouse. You'll want to get in and out. Izzy, I think you know where we are. Do you love this place? Come on, Bella. All right, everyone, we are here. This is the grand reveal of, it doesn't have a name, but the abandoned cabin. What should we name it, everyone? She's glowing in the sun. I'm like nervous and excited again. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go any further, we are gonna go inside and give you a full tour of this cabin and the property. And then at the end of this video, we will talk about the who, what, where, when, why, how, all of that and how we even got here. But first, look at this view. Wow, moment of silence. Do you all hear that river? Or do you just hear this dog rolling in the grass? We really don't know much about this cabin, when it was built, who built it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All we know is that there is a structure here and we have a lot to tell you about it. First, look at this deck, everyone. Comes with hard bags of concrete. Obviously, they've been wet and dried. There is moss all over the roof. Look at these little pallets of moss. <laughs> Looks like we have a stick on the roof as well. Honestly, the roof is really not looking promising. <laughs> I think that our first cabin had a better roof. Pretty big windows, I have to say. I think they're single pane. All right, let's inspect this deck. Deck is on sono tubes. However, the six by six wood is directly in the concrete. We got some rope. Look at all this lumber. Oh my gosh. It's a gold mine. What are you talking about? These are all raspberry bushes. We should dig these up and put them somewhere else. You mean you don't want to sit on the deck and have a raspberry? That's pretty nice. Those are like looking really healthy. You might uh, cut yourself on your way out. These are all raspberry. A lot of dry firewood. Very dry, eh? This looks very burnable. Let's bring it home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Bella, where are you going? 
We will all go in that crawl space later, everyone. You ready to go in? Ready? Yeah. Welcome to our cabin. Woo, she is whoa, Just smells like someone passed in here, honestly. Your eyes are watering. It's so Your sick. Your eyes are literally watering. That's how bad it smells in here, everyone. Why does it smell so bad? All right, well, we got a lot of work on our hands. How do you even open Shit, that roof is leaking for sure. Oh no! There's mold right mold. there. We have a leak, I think, everyone. Yeah, and you can tell because the wood, see the wood here? Look at that's deep water. It's a puddle. Splashing it, go. <laughs> Look it, it's coming right from there and it's wet, everywhere wet. Look, it's dripping, I didn't even notice that. There's water everywhere. The roof could cave in at any time, eh? Maybe. Are you kidding me? The entire roof is wet. If it's coming down here, this isn't even the roof. This is just, this is the roof of the upstairs. Yikes. So it's coming through the roof and the second roof. Look at that insulation. I can tell you one thing. Ick. All this material, there'd be no salvaging. Oh, 75 humidity. Is that really, you think it's working? I guess I'm trusting something that looks very old, eh? I mean, yeah, the thermometer's name is accurate, 15 degrees. <laughs> Mold's growing. Oh, I know. I really think I'm Mold like... is growing. I have to say, there's quite the decorations in here. <laughs> I think we might have some horse lovers. What a freaking view. This is going to cool. My grandma would like this. <laughs> you want it for Christmas, Graham? I bet you there was a lot of fishing done here. Okay, tell them about this. Well, here we like... have fireplace i am where the chimney pipe would go up it's very retro that is so cool it's a side entrance look you put the logs in there i think that's beautiful how old do you think that thing is last time when we bought our other cabin a lot of you knew how old our stove was some of you even still had our old stove let us know how old this yeah stove what is. is that a sierra what is that sierra yeah I only know the sierra truck this is a stink bug everyone when they die they let off an almost as bad smell as this cabin. That's incomparable, by the way. I'd rather smell like a hundred stink bugs than this. Really? Yeah, are you kidding me? I feel like my nose has gotten used to this cabin. <laughs> Is that bad? For light, they used oil lamps that weren't on the wall. That's pretty cool, I have to say. I think we'll find out more information what that outlet is for because there is no power here, no lines for miles. It is completely off grid. Check out this table though. I like this table. Oh, I think I'm touching mold. This is like a real off-grid camp. Like, yeah, this truly, is a, this is a hunt camp. This is like truly off-grid, coming out, going camping vibes. Oh, it couldn't have always been like this. Want me to test it? She takes the camera. Jasmine, be careful. I got the wall. Oh no. Oh no. The floor in here is, this is what I was saying a minute ago. It's literally falling apart. There's nothing about this floor that is good. Hey everyone, look at this. It's soft everywhere here. It's our, um, like right here even. Damn. The poor cabin. There is a much bigger reason why this is happening and we will tell you about it soon. Crystal, they left you a broom. Oh nice, I'll get to sweeping. <laughs> it smells really bad. Let's open the cupboards. Some batteries. Wow, they're in pretty good condition. Oh, baby, now we're talking. I think these are fishing knives. Propane stove. We have a sink. With plumbing. Double sink, man. It's pretty cool, actually, this setup. I bet you at one time, I just realized that I'm standing really close to the hole. <laughs> I bet you at one time there was a lot of fun had here and a lot of memories made. I just feel, it does feel like this really warm place in here no matter how smelly it is. I bet there was a lot of good times. Our cabin would have looked like this if we didn't come in, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got in just in time. That's a typical Nova Scotia photo. Wow, where do you get those jackets? There's a bedroom, which is, what is that? It's a propeller or something. There's a balloon. Fun times. This is evidence of fun times. Or maybe I shouldn't be touching this. Really See, there was some snowmobiling here at one point. Put it on, I dare you. Oh my God, get it for me, I'm too short. Yeah, girl. You don't want to put that on. I love this. 
I think. No, it's moldy in there. I'm not wearing it. I mean, this room looks pretty sweet. You always need these tubings. Like someone had plans for a bathroom, but then they just forgot. <laughs> Poop bags, let's be real. A little airflow, you know, when you're going. Airflow is good. There is actually water everywhere, hey? Everywhere. Hard the roof like see. does waves because it's so yeah, wet. But this like, is a nice cloth. Yeah. Does anyone want it? The absolute coolest thing about this upstairs is that, whoa. Sorry. Jeez, I thought the window was falling out. I want it out. <laughs> the coolest thing about this upstairs is the view. And if you listen quietly, you can hear the river and Bella flowing crying. through the property. It's so pretty up here. Look at Bella, these are so steep. <sighs> Jasmine's really excited to be bringing you underneath the cabin into the crawl space, not I. <laughs> So we will observe from out here and be on standby. There's some treasures in here, everyone. Oh, I've always wanted these. This is a good box of finds. That's nice. Oh, there's a toad. Aw. There's a lawnmower. I wonder if it starts. Bring it out and try. There's gas. Oh, wow. There's gas in there? That is some old gas. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a tight one. <laughs> she doesn't like lawnmowers and I don't think it's gonna start. So back in the day, long before they had garages and sheds, this type of crawl space would be used to store things. Lumbers. Which means we're gonna find some good things. A lot of lumber. Well, isn't that a creepy chair? Ew. That is some creepy. It's very cold, this chair on my butt. We have like the cement walls that go around the board and then the ledger board and the joists are running across this sitting on this there's also no vapor barrier down here which would explain the rotting of all the joist boards along here not only is the roof leaking into the cabin but the moisture from the earth is rising mm -hmm. hence probably why that one area i went through interesting build whoever you are if you see this video well that's nice I made it in. She did it! It doesn't look that bad at first from the door. Once you get in here and you see the other side, it is actually so, so bad. The water damage down here is brutal. Yo, you want some safety glasses? Way worse than I thought. You know, this is my first time in here. I've never been in here. Really? No, not a ton of rot, tons of rot. A bunch of nails, corner brackets. Yeah, that's the hole. That's inside our cabin. Bed posts. This is cool, a little table. Just gotta repaint it. Yo, milk crates, they always come in handy. I like milk crates. Me too. I'll we'll keep those. Hoses. What's that yellow white thing that I do to the left? What is that? What is this? This is a swimming thing. Or a boating thing. That's cool. We could hang it somewhere for yeah. sure. I'm scared of something's gonna come crawling out of here. Ready? No. We're built like a band-aid. Oh my God, you crazy. Oh my gosh. Do you remember caramel spray? Oh, or spread? No, cinnamon spread. That's my, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nostalgic. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. When I go grocery shopping, which I love going grocery shopping, I look for this to this day. If anyone remembers what this is, it is basically like a cinnamon spread butter and it's so good, I can taste it. <gasps> There's none left. <laughs> good old Timmy's. That's donut icing from Tim Hortons. I don't know much about cement foundations, but I do feel like this cement is looking good. Honestly, I just have to. What? I just don't know how there's no rodents in here. How is there no rodents in here? All right, I'm about to crawl out of this dark abyss. Wow. We're good on buckets, eh? Back in the side. Goodbye, crawl space. Welcome back to the fresh air. <laughs> Ooh, my back, man, I'm getting old. We can all agree that that cabin is beyond interesting. It has so many quirks and there is so much about it that needs help and a lot of work. We lost the shingles the are not on the roof. That could be why we have a leak. Propane regulator. This behind me is definitely a dug well. You can tell because there's already water sitting in it. See that? You see that, everyone? 
They're camouflaged. <laughs> they actually have a camo on. <laughs> I know. But I love to see nature take over things that humans just do because when we're all gone, people, guess what? Nature's just growing over all of our houses. It's wild. As you can see, this hasn't been abandoned for that long, I don't think. They're about to be in worse condition. I'm thinking these IBC totes could be for a septic. Now, we didn't buy the property for the cabin. As you can tell. Oh, look at the moss coming off the roof. We bought it for everything else. The real reason that we bought this property is for the land. Just look at all of these beautiful tall trees and not to mention that this property not only sits on a lake, but a river goes right through it. It is truly so special and the location is out of this world because it actually connects to our other property where we currently live, the cabin that we've been renovating for the last few years. It's entirely off the grid in such a peaceful area. It is so quiet and so remote out here. A lot like the cabin, it has incredible potential and we fell in love with this place long before it was ours. I want to do what Belle's doing. Oh, they're going to swim in both of them. Yay! This is the lake. It is our absolute favorite part of the property. There's so much water. I know I've said that so many times, but we're going to show you right now just how much water we're talking about. This lake isn't massive, but it is great for canoeing, kayaking, swimming, and it's honestly such a breathtaking view. So the lake here actually connects to the river. This is a river fed lake. I'm sure they all are, but, <laughs> <laughs> but there are a few little inlets and this one more specifically, that's right behind me, actually runs all the way around the property, which is the part that we love even more than the lake is the river. We go swimming in there all the time. The water levels in this area change so much. We'll get into that later. But this area more specifically is the swimming hole. This is where we go swimming and Bella and Izzy enjoy it as well. But from here, it continues up for hundreds of feet. I think what I love so much about this property is that it's so untouched. It's so natural still. There's so much moss. It's just like all this natural grass is so cool. Like you can't even wrap around it. This makes me happy. So the reason the trees are so big on this property is because they're so close to the water and this whole area used to be logging. So back where our home is, all those trees were logged, just wiped right down. Where these ones, they couldn't log, I think a hundred meters from waterfront. And that's why we have these beautiful, huge trees on this property and we don't at our cabin. Girl, you have a nice retired life, man. You have your own river, your own lake, your own cabin. So this river goes all the way into our lake, into another river, to a bigger river, which then goes into the Atlantic Ocean. And what's fascinating about that is the trout actually make their way down this exact river all the way there. They say nature makes the prettiest designs. Mother Nature did well on this property, I have to say. Hi, where's mama? Call Izzy, she's looking for you. Izzy! Go. Hi! Come here, girl. Hi. So we just walked around all the way to here, and you all know this spot if you've been watching our channel. The path behind me leads to our cabin. It's like it was meant to be connected. Like literally meant to be. I don't know who subdivided these things, but. There is a driveway that is probably like 500 feet long. We're gonna go see. That's almost double hours. So long and far back from the road. This is what I'm getting at. Crystal built our driveway at our cabin. So Crystal, what do you think about the driveway here? I think it's great. I really did put it in a good spot like considering the geography of the land. There's no water collecting here. When we first got to our cabin, we didn't have a driveway and it was a muddy mess. So this is in good condition. It's incredible, yeah. And what has my brain thinking is this long driveway that runs parallel on the river. What to do all along the river? What can we build? How can we get power here differently than solar? There is so much you can do when you have a river and waterfront and I cannot wait. I got my steps in today. <laughs> <sighs> 
I kind of want to give some context to everything about this place. For the first few years at the cabin, we used to come down here long before it was ours and we used to shower here and jump in the lake and get refreshed in every season, even in the middle of winter. This place specifically has such a big place in our heart. When it went up for sale, we knew we had to take the opportunity. So we reached out to our neighbor and before we knew it, it was ours. It is very hard to find 10 acres on a lake. It's almost unheard of now. They've all been subdivided into little two acre lots or even less. The coolest part is that this land is actually attached to our land. The properties basically kiss. And for that reason, you can imagine how excited we are because we can make trails from there to here. And I just feel like this has so much potential, like we've said. As you all know, we live 18 hours away from most of our friends and all of our family. Our cabin is just a two bedroom cabin. So by having this area, it's just going to allow them to have a comfortable place for when they come and stay with us. Mm -hmm. That being said, this is something that we really need to share with you. And that is since we've purchased it, we've really quickly realized that where the cabin is located is just truly not a suitable location. It's been flooded to the point where- <laughs> It's up the to the choice. Yeah, the cabin is like almost underwater. Even just a few weeks ago, you can see that the flooding was just so extreme. So for that reason, I'm super grateful we've taken the time to kind of digest everything and taken our time to tell everyone because we've discovered so much along the way. Yeah, we're not keeping a secret from all of you. We actually just had no idea what to do with it. The location has so much potential for solar power, water power, and who even knows what. And that's why we're turning to you. Do you have ideas for this space? We are constantly thinking about what we want to do here, how we're going to do it, when we're going to do it. To the point I'm probably annoying Crystal, <laughs> so I'm really happy I'm going to be able to chat with all of you in the comments on what we can do. My brain just goes when I see this property like other neighbors that we have when they come down here like they've offered to help us with this because they just see the potential in this a lot of you said that we should tear down our last cabin what do you think about this one and keep in mind there are other areas on the lot that are more elevated so maybe they have more building potential or maybe you can build a tree house now we got big trees there's some nice trees here in all honesty all of you have gotten us through our very first cabin build everything we did there was so new to us and we couldn't have done it without you here it's going to be just as new it's yeah. completely different territory of what we're working with but i know we can do it i have the hope in us especially with our pack Exactly. This is the abandoned secret cabin. <laughs> not secret cabin. That we get it's to... the not secret cabin. <laughs> that now everyone knows about and we get to talk about together. So we're going to bring you down here more often. You ready for this big job? I'm ready. Let's get it, girl. All right. Love you, pack. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> With no experience necessary, you can have your very own website up and running within just a few hours. You can make any Squarespace template do exactly what you want, making your brand, your idea, and your business stand out online on any device. You can sell your products on an online store. Whether they're physical, digital, or services that you offer, Squarespace has the tools to get you started with selling online. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, squarespace.com forward slash vanwise for 10% off your very first purchase of a website or a domain.